the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 9. They that be slain with a sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken through for want of the fruits of the fields. My elders at GMS, who are well, and much peace, citation, unto all for luck. This is a video which is going to give you a prelude into what, you know, an experienced veteran, uh, what he has to say and what's going to transpire in America in the way of great tribulation, all right, evils, wars, tumults, as the scripture is in the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter, and the book of Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, all right, the days of great tribulation, the days of Jacob's troubles. Put a video out, and Lord will not get into a few scriptures, and Lord will not be edifying. I'm pretty appalled at what's going on. You know, at first we sat as concerned citizens, and we all wanted to figure out how to best navigate our way through this whole COVID thing, you know. And uh, as, as we realized that it's not quite as dangerous as we thought it'd be, you know, I was absolutely appalled at the cowardice, you know, and as you're sitting there with your masks on, uh, I don't blame you for wearing masks because I'd be hiding my face too if I was you for what you're doing. This is absolutely horrendous what you're doing to these people. I'm a business owner, and, uh, and I'm telling you, our families are starving. You know, you guys can sit here with your jobs. You can sit here and you're going to get paid. You can fall asleep in your chair like that gentleman's doing behind his mask right there, okay? Uh, and, and I'm telling you right now that right now we're being peaceful, and, and you better be happy that we're, we're good citizens, that we're peaceful citizens. But it's not going to be peaceful much longer. Okay? And this isn't a threat. I'm not a criminal. I've never been a criminal. But I'm telling you, good citizens are going to turn into real concerned and revolutionary citizens real soon. And nobody else is going to say that. I'm probably the only person that has the balls to say what I'm saying right now. That we're building, we're organizing, and we'll work with law enforcement or without law enforcement. But you won't stop us when time comes because our families are starving. And if you don't hear the seriousness of my voice, I hope you open your ears and you absolutely listen to what I'm saying. Because this is a warning for what's coming. It's not going to be peaceful much longer. It's not going to be rah rah. It's not going to be speeches. It's not going to be gathering outside saying a pledge of allegiance. It's not going to be waving flags. It's going to be real. When you see the things that I've seen, I went to war for this country. I've seen the ugliest, dirtiest part of humanity. I've been in combat, and I never want to go back again. But I'm telling you what, I will to save this country. If it has to be against our own citizens, it will happen. And there's a million people like me, and you won't stop us. Open the county, let our citizens do what they need to do, let owners of businesses do what they need to do to feed their families, take the masks off, quit masking and muzzling your children. The psychological damage you're doing to them is horrible. I've had six friends kill themselves since it's happened. Veterans who lost their jobs. How do you feel about being complicit in perpetuating that? The greatest post ever perpetuated on the American people, and you're part of it while they wear your mask. America, Babylon the Great will not be saved, all right? That's what these soldiers, their attempt is, but who can resist uh, the will of the Heavenly Father? Because the Heavenly Father has determined that the, the nation of uh, America are Babylon the Great to be destroyed along with the nation of Edom. You so-called white people, man, red people of earth. This book of Isaiah chapter 19 and 2, it says, Now said the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. The Mosai is bringing a great division amongst the citizens of America between the politicians, uh, the citizens, the, the, the law enforcement. It says, and the spirit of Egypt, which is America, look on your American dollar bill, shall fail in the midst thereof, and I'll destroy the council thereof, and they shall see to the, uh, the idols, and to charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to witches, sake, and to wizards, and to the wizards. Now that goes into how America is, is set up on witchcraft, all right? That goes into the book of Nahum. I believe that's what the first chapter, man. Let me jump to, um, remember, America was set up on uh, Jekyll Island, uh, set up on Freemasonry and the Illuminati, man. Let me jump to the book of Second Ezra. So let me jump to that. Second Ezra chapter 15, 
and 16, it says, And there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Now this has transpired in other countries while the Americans uh, sit back and, and, um, and pity these nations when this is going to happen in America, man, no doubt. It says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not. You're going to have martial law. You're going to have road uh, uh, patrols and, and roadblocks. For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Verse 19, a man shall not have pity upon his neighbor. As that uh, seasoned vet said. But shall destroy their houses with the sword. And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Now the bread um, and the food storage for, uh, for times like these are running out, man. And these devils, these elite know that their time is running out because prophecy is, if prophecy is being fulfilled. The Israelites are being woken up and um, the chair settings are innumerable. And uh, even their own citizens are, are starting to uh, peep what's going on, man. So this system's crumbling. Esau's system is destructuring. And uh, we got to praise all, give all praises, all right, to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Yasha, who has done this. Revelation 12 and 12. Rejoice, it's like, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. You hear that? Woe, which is death and destruction, a very ill, evil time. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. These elites know that their time is very short. Now they're, you could say they're shaken in their boots. Revelation 12 and 7, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the devil, and the devil fought and his angels and prevailed not, neither was a place found any more in heaven. Now that goes into these the Edomite nation fighting against the Lord and, and uh, you could say UFOs, all right, the UFO invasion, which are chariot invasions, to uh, come and take this 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 rulership and take Esau out of his um out of his stead. As the scriptures say, the saints shall take the kingdom, man. And what the heavenly father is um in other words, promotion neither coming from the east nor from the west. But the Heavenly Father set up one and raised up another. Or set down one and raised up another. So the Heavenly Father is taking out the kingdom of Edom. And going to set up the, the established nation of Israel. Under our Lord Yahweh Shai, King David, the elect. And um, it's going to be happily ever after after that, man, for uh, for the nation of Israel. But your other nations are going to are gonna suffer, uh, you know, Primarily, you Edomites, all right? This book of Job, chapter 18 and 14. It says, His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. All right? When the Lord returns, you're going to have to meet up with, with him, man. And um, that's all set up. All right, it's all set up. Exist because why and um, it's beautiful, man. You know, so I'm gonna close up. Give all praise to Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem, Yahushai, Ba Hashem, Haraka Kodash, double on smiles, that great millstone, and single citation, much love, peace, all for light. Shalom.